give up. I'm hoping that John Thomas give up on himself. 155 pound elite division, six Burrow Championship title contest, Brooklyn Lies, Swole House Fields. Making his way to the red corner at this time, ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Spence. That was elite men's title Melvin Martinez against Jacob Spence and as they get into the fight we've got last fight's winner who they called a loser Josh Popper Josh first of all I am so sorry both me and Jose here had been winning not just two rounds three rounds give us your feelings right now uh, that's, that's, that's a great question my feelings right now are very mixed um, obviously, you know, I feel like I won the fight, so that's what's bothering me right now. I'm finding his blood all over me. They had to stop the fight three times to stop him, or for the doctor to check him to make sure he's okay to continue. And I got, I got connected. Well, he connected a punch once that was clean. And you know, for me to feel like I only got cl hit clean one time, and the amount of clean shots I landed on him, all three rounds, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away at that decision. You know, when it comes to to boxing. What I count is clean, effective punches. Exactly, yep. The guy was throwing, you blocked almost all his shots. And I said no as soon as I, I said no. I no, knew I was in his hometown. I just, I don't see how the guy won. Where, where are you from? Tell people about you because I was looking at you and I said to Jose, there's no way this guy's only had a couple of fights. <laughs> Come on, you've been around, haven't you? Come on, John, stop. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's USA Boxing, Chris. bro. <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't say boxing, you can see how sometimes, uh, you know, the hometown kid can, can always edge it out when he's in front of his hometown. The crowd, obviously the crowd was on his side. Um, you know, I still feel like I, I won that fight, hands down. Easy. Uh, to circle back to your question where I'm from, I'm from Atlantic City, New Jersey. So, a little bit, a little ways uh, away from home, but, you know, I've been living in New York now for coming up on five years, so this is what I call home now. Let me, let me, just, let me just say this. I want to... I wanna... Thank Josh for being a part of the event. You know, he's an upcoming amateur boxer. You know, with, with aspirations to, to big things. So thank you for being a part of this event, Josh. I, I appreciate you. No matter the outcome, 
I'm grateful that you were here a part of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and just to, you know, touch on what uh, Jose was saying about the clean punches. You know, all the shots that I was blocking in his, they, I mean, there was nothing. He didn't throw anything clean. All that was sloppy slapping around. And, uh, you know, that, at the end of the day, uh, I need to I need to figure out how to not leave it to the judges. If, if you could get a rematch, would you take a rematch? Oh, hell yeah. I'll, I'll fight him right now. I genuinely mean that. I'm not just saying that because it sounds good. You know, he started talking a little shit at the end. See, my language started talking a little trash at the end. And uh, I told him we could run it back in the park a lot. That's not it. Whatever I was actually telling um, the commissioner that you're also a former NFL player. Yes. And as soon as you let those hands go, I'm like, he's definitely getting hit by a linebacker and lift up by his face. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the kid's face, he's bleeding out of both nostrils. His his right eye was completely cut open. You know, so, I mean, if we want to talk about who was landing the cleaner shots, I mean, you know, you didn't even have to watch the fight to see who was landing the cleaner How shots. How tall are you? Uh, I'm almost 6'3", six, 6'2", three, six, and 3 quarters. Are you going to turn pro? Uh, that is definitely the, the goal, yes. Yep. If, if you don't, you're out of your mind. <laughs> I would do anything to be a heavyweight like you. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. We're sorry about that it's okay. decision tonight because you did not lose it. You want to please do not. I had to get you over here yeah. to tell you do not get discouraged. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And uh, my, you know, my coach told me, he said, don't leave it to the judges. And, you know, so that's on me. Next time I know what I got to do. Josh Popper, you're going to see more of him. He won the fight tonight, did not get the decision. It was just one of, I have been around over 50 years in this game, and it really was a terrible, terrible round. Do not get that. Wow, I got to watch that one again. Yes, yes. Me too. Me too. Thanks again, guys. Thank you so much for having me. It's still hard for me to believe, Jose. I, I, I couldn't believe it. Now, get him back to this, to this. Get him back to this right, right here. We actually have Jacob Spence. Jacob Spence is actually the cousin of Errol Spence. That, Jacob Spence is his cousin. Second round started. We've got a 155-pound elite men's championship fight here, SPC title. I am still in shock over that decision. And we've got a real good one going here. Jacob Spence against Melvin Martinez, two experienced amateur boxers. Melvin Martinez has won so many amateur championships. He's the ringmaster's champion from 2019, Metro Junior Olympic champion. In 2021, he was the New York tournament champion. 2022, he was the master's finalist. Same thing with Jacob Spence. He has won so many amateur titles. He won the New York Metro Tournament with so many good fighters in it. At 165 pounds in the open division with two knockouts and one flat out, two TKOs and one flat out knockout. So talent wise, this might be the finest matchup in this tournament. And Jose, I think after watching that last fight, I'm giving up scoring amateur back. Yeah. I'm done. I agree. I'm, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know how they score it for the other guy. But that's the thing with boxing. You never know, right? No, you, you know, 
some of the worst decisions I have ever seen have been in the amateur, not the pros. Roy Jones you know, Jr. And there have you know that sometimes amateur scoring, I don't get it. Look, there, there have been some, but I think when you actually look at some of like the Pernod Whitaker losses and some of Jose Luis Ramirez and against Julio Cesar Chavez, there have been some very questionable what the judges were going through. But tonight, you basically had some fine judges in there and they, they watched the different fight. This is the Strong Island Fight Night Series number one. Put on by Christian Vasquez. Which I believe is going to replace the New York Golden Gloves. And we've had fun here tonight. I mean, it's funny because even at the last second, there was some opponent replacement. And I was going with the decision given to me only about two days ago. So that's what happens in the in the amateur, in the pros, that basically is just not allowed. I wouldn't allow that when I was in the door. That, yeah, that, that's definitely something that's frustrating. You know, you, you, you get ready for a certain fighter, a certain style. Next thing you know, you're fighting somebody totally opposite. So it can, be, it can definitely be very frustrating. Referee telling both guys you're going to listen to my commands. Jacob Spence out of Deer Park, Long Island. Melvin Martinez out of New Rochelle, New York. Melvin in the blue. And Jacob Spence in the red and white. You could definitely tell that experience in Melvin Martinez. You know, he's the straight shots, taking his time. Let's see if the ref says something. There we go. Yeah, she did. I would have been surprised if she didn't. If I believe, I think this is uh, Spence's uh, first elite fight. So it's interesting to see how he reacts to fighting with the grown men. But that's, I'm surprised. I'm surprised the referee didn't say nothing to the blue corner for that. Oh, beautiful left hook by Wait, Spence. Wait, again by Wait, Christian Vasquez. Who's winning? Who's winning, guys? It's a great fight. Back and forth. Back and forth? Yes. Who, who has the edge? Who has the edge? I uh, want to know. Definitely Melvin Martinez. Melvin? Okay, Melvin's from the Bronx. He trains out of Rochester. Uh, actually, New Rochelle at a Champs Boxing Club with Ryan, O'Le Ryan O'Leary. And you know Jacob is actually the, the cousin of uh, Errol Spence, Errol right? Spence's cousin, yes. yes. I knew this was going to be a good scrap. And it is. And don't ask me who's winning. I'm giving up scoring amateur boxing after that Josh Popper decision. <laughs> you know, I, I don't watch the fights too much. I try not to get involved. But Melvin's got him on the ropes. So if this is the way it's going, Melvin has the edge. Oh, good overhand right by Melvin. He's got him on the ropes still. Uppercuts. He's taking over. Good. He definitely wants this fight more. Melvin is definitely Melvin's got a great gas tank because yeah. he's being he's working the body and you can tell Spence is dying Ooh, down. Good uppercut, right uppercut by Melvin in the middle of the ring. Referee breaking it up. They don't want nobody holding. 
Melvin stepping forward still. He still Melvin. got him under pressure over, off against the ropes. Slipping punches too. I like that when boxers slip punches. I love that. Good jab by Melvin. Beautiful working work by Melvin on the inside. Go over here, right by Melvin. Ooh, left hook by Beautiful. Jacob. Left hook by Melvin. Good job. Beautiful fight. What, how many rounds? That's it. Uh, I, Mel Melvin definitely pulled that off. Melvin won the fight. So he, he finished strong. Uh, I gotta get the belt out. I think Melvin's gonna pull it out, but I, I I'm giving up scoring amateur boxing. Give it up. Uh, I'm giving up the round. <laughs> Coming up, 155 pound elite men's championship for the brand new SBC title, the Six Burrows Championship, which is gonna be a very popular title. The champion is gonna have to defend it every four to five months. Yeah, I can't wait for, the, for some of these guys to defend their belts. I know, and it's going to be in May. Promoter Christian Vasquez is saying before that his next show is going to be in May. Okay. Marvelous Matt Compatello got those four cards. Before we announce the victor in this contest, I welcome Christian Vasquez to the microphone at this time. And this is Everybody who wins the Six Borough Championship belt has to defend it every four months right here at Stereo Garden. So every champion you see will be back here every four months defending it against the number one contender. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges have reached a split decision. The winner and the new 185 pound elite division six borough champion out of the blue corner, Melvin Martinez. Okay, there again, that was a, a decision that went to the correct winner. But it was a split. Jose, I, I just don't understand, and maybe that's why I haven't made my career in amateur boxing. I said, you know what? I would get too many headaches 